Hi, I'm Victoria Wasike. I'm a candidate for Charlotte City Council District 7, the Ballantyne area. You are an African-American woman running on the Republican ticket. Tell me about what it is about the Republican agenda that you that made you want to run on that ticket in City Council. Well, thank you so much for the question. I'm actually a lifelong Republican. I've been Republican since I registered to vote. I've done a lot with the party throughout the years. And so basically, I guess my experience with uh, being with the party for so long and also understanding that this is more of a Republican leading district in this area, it's pretty much why I wanted to run. Also, just the greater principles that Republicans have kind of stood for over the years of more limited government and lower taxes also have always appealed to me, which is why I've been a Republican consistently for pretty much the last 20 years or so. For District 7, what do you see as the top priorities for the area in which you're seeking uh, office for City Council? Well, I think some of the top priorities would definitely be um, the traffic and the congestion here is growing exponentially. And I think I've been here for the last four years and from when I came to now, it, it, there's a market a difference in the traffic. So trying to get more funding for that and more intention for our roads, and that's a very important thing. Also, the lack of planning and development. Um, we have a lot of development, but it hasn't really been planned for. And so therefore we don't really have the infrastructure and it's causing our schools to be overcrowded. It's causing a lot of issues. So I think having that planning and a plan for this area um, and the greater Charlotte area is very important. I think we're lacking in that area. So those are the two, I think, major concerns here in the Ballantyne area. A few other things um, would be more just getting a few more dollars back um, and, and just that are more tailored to our area so we can kind of help allevi alleviate these problems as we continue to grow based on what you consider to be the top priorities for District 7 Ballantyne, what do you feel would be the best way to support resolution for those issues? Well, um, I've already been doing the work in the, in the South Charlotte area. I've been dubbed the voice of South Charlotte by the South Charlotte Weekly because I'm vice chair of the planning commission, our immediate past vice chair, kind of served in that area for planning and development. I've served on the Charlotte Regional Transportation Planning Organization. I've served as vice chair or chair of South Charlotte Partners in Valentine Breakfast Club. And so I just want to kind of continue that outreach and that collaboration with city leaders to make sure we have what we have and what we need in this area. So for planning and development, being on the, on the planning commission, I see that we have holes and gaps. And so that's how I know intimately what I can do to help that. Um, serving on the transportation board, I understand that we have gaps in that area. So I, am, I have a lot of influence and information about how we can help that. And so really doing the advocacy that I'm doing every single day in my other roles with South Charlotte Partners and other entities, I want to do that in that seat so that we can have more effective leadership and more effective change. And so we have relationships with all these other city council members so we can get more of what we need for this area. Tell me a little bit about what your role is that you've been doing in the community. So basically, I um, I was chair of um, the Valentine Breakfast Club, and that is an 18 year um, long information forum where we would bring leaders to the community um, and a variety of topics uh, back to school or community safety, and they could come and speak to our residents. We would have a, a packed room at the Valentine Hotel, and the residents can come and ask any questions about planning, development, transportation. So we've been doing that for 18 years. I, I was over that for about two years and then right after that we realized that we were doing the information part but we weren't doing the advocacy part so a group of us started South Charlotte Partners and so there we started to advocate for the area every day all day and I was chair of that I was one of the forming the founding members and then became chair I just rolled off recently so I can now run for office but that is the advocacy every single day. And we've had a lot of change happen because of our efforts. Um, one thing is we got more money in the budget. We got $5 million the, the last fiscal year. Um, that was fiscal year um, 19. We also got a lot of area improvements in transportation, small ones. We need a lot more, but we were able to move that needle. We're able to get light rail here to Ballantyne because of our efforts and to be considered. And so we're already kind of doing that work and the advocacy with those two organizations. And I've been intimately involved with those two organizations. And when I was dubbed the voice of South Charlotte and went by the South Charlotte Weekly, it was really because of my efforts in those two organizations um, because I was really speaking for the area and helping to get what we need here. Is there a message that you have for your constituents? Yeah, I do. 
Well, I just feel like we can have better representation and that we can have someone who can kind of get things done for our area because we have a lot of needs. We just have to make sure that people know those needs and work with people and collaborate so they understand our priorities and understand that how we need help and how they can help us. And so I just hope that uh, you all come out and vote for me and so that we can see a better South Charlotte, better Valentine on September 10th during the primary if you're a Republican or independent slash unaffiliated voter. Thank you. Well, for Victoria Wasi, okay. Woo! Woo!